YouTube and censorship, and the argument that YouTube should be allowed to do whatever they want because they're a private company. This actually comes generally from a certain brand of libertarian. Okay, this isn't a universal libertarian stance. There are a lot of libertarians who are very smart people who do understand that government is involved in the internet and that um, it's not just a free market with equal access. Okay, and that's one of the things that's really important about our government is that the, the part about individual rights being key to how our government and social system were set up means that we do need to have market and business regulation. It's actually super important to have market and business regulation so that the individual may compete. And that's why when the country was founded, we had some pretty severe and huge restrictions on corporations. Corporations are not a natural entity. They are a legal entity, and they don't have um, natural barriers to taking over, so to speak. So we do need corporate regulation, especially. We need to regulate things so that the individual can compete and to make sure that the individual has equal access to markets and um, public squares, speech, transportation, as in, you know, it's one of the key elements of my road video, which was rambling and far too long, but you need to have equal access to the opportunities to become individually full of liberty. Practice your liberty. Okay, roads are a part of that. Now, on uh, one of the YouTube comment threads, which are always horrible, but this was, I thought this was actually kind of funny. Um, one of the, the younger libertarians, I, I, I tend to call them the sophomoric libertarians, people who just read Ayn Rand and haven't really thought things through or had life experiences. Okay, with it or not, it's YouTube's platform and they can do as they please. Content creators don't have to publish their content on YouTube, hence why this channel, blah blah blah, has their own website. Okay, the, the channel in question is a gun channel, does have their own website. They also don't host their own videos on that website. That's kind of a key element there. Um, they do host on Full30 and BitChute, <coughs> and Pornhub, actually. But um, So here's, here's a response from me, okay? The internet is a creation for the public space by government. Specifically, if you want to say it that way, if you want to use the libertarian um, framework, if you want to use the anarcho-capitalist way of phrasing this, it's a social, socialist funded system. Okay. Um, government and societal funds and input have created the internet. It's not just some wild space, okay? It's not just things like DARPA and public universities, but public input, time, code, effort, okay? It, go it goes outside of federal defense programs and universities. The internet is a public space that has been created by the public with the public funding, coding, making, creating it, okay? YouTube is riding on what is a public space. They are controlling YouTube, Google, Facebook, Twitter, whatever. They are controlling your access and performance in that public space that has been created publicly. There you go. We, we, you literally are saying that, okay, the government has said whatever, society has said whatever, the public universities, whatever it is, has said this is the public square. Come here to exercise your First Amendment, and then you allow some companies to set up little tents in different squares, squares of sections of the square, and tell people they can't come in. They can't participate. They have to raise their fist and say the name before they're allowed in. You can't do that, okay? You've, you've got a public square, and now you're restricting access to the public space to use that public square. 
not good. This isn't a case of just a private company has private stuff. So YouTube is not just attempting to piggyback on this societal effort to create an internet and use the value that belongs to society as a whole. And, you know, and I'm not making a communist argument. It's, it's fundamental libertarian. This is about property rights, okay? The internet belongs to us. Yes, it's hard for someone to say the word collectively and still call it a li libertarian argument, but it does belong to us collectively, okay? And it's fine for YouTube to piggyback on that, okay? What's going on with YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, etc., is that they are using cartel tactics to enforce a monopoly or a trust, if you want to use more technical terms, system to squeeze independent operations out of the space, opposing viewpoints, independent views. Um, they, they literally remove information from the internet or make it unsearchable. This is not a simply a case of, oh, build it on your own. You can't just build it on your own, okay? For example, um, let's build it yourself is an argument that only works if you have free, equal access to the necessary tools. I cannot buy bandwidth at the same prices as a large corporation. Hurdle one. Hurdle number two. I cannot use a payment processor anywhere near the same level of um, efficiency as a large corporation. Hurdle two. Hurdle three. I may not be able to use a payment processor at all unless I agree with their censorious terms of service. So I don't get to just build it myself because I can't, I can't fund it, okay? That's hurdle number three. Hurdle number four, I have to be able to find a host. The, you can build it yourself, but you have to find a way to connect to host. That includes server space, which you can do at home. Electrical service, which you probably can get at home, okay? But there are places, a lot of places in the United States where that's going to run into commercial issues and zoning and whatever, even for a little mini server farm. Um, also, the internet access itself, okay? Someone gives, someone, someone sells you the ability to hook up the internet, a pipe, okay? That is highly restricted too, okay? People have had their websites taken down or had their internet access removed due to social justice concerns, censorship on the internet by the major players. You can't just build it because it's not just build it. You have to create your own internet hookup, your own tie-in to the backbone of the internet. You have to create your own electrical generation. You have to like, I don't know, what are you going to do? Make your own computers? Hopefully someone will sell to you because you haven't been blacklisted that far yet. You have to create your own banking system because blacklisting you from banking is proven as a tactic to keep people off the internet. You build it yourself doesn't actually work. Um, and in this argument, I actually, I literally said, let's try moving up to the junior high school level of effort. Explain to me in detail the hours and costs associated with fighting for space in the internet verse with YouTube. How you scale based on increasing viewership. How do you scale your platform if you get popular? How you host every layer and step down to the bare wire, including your um, banking access and software access, and hosting access, okay? If you have a solid answer that's actually workable, and this, this goes out to you too, go ahead and tell me. I would really like to know because the bit guys at BitChute will probably pay me some money to tell them how this genius level assistance is gonna work. Okay? Censorship on the internet isn't about some sort of mythical corporate rights. 
there are no natural rights for corporations. It's not about private property. I mean, I mean if, if you keep to yourself, it's about private property, but the, the companies and corporations involved, the people involved, the Zuckerbergs involved, are not keeping it to themselves. They're not protecting their private property as private property. They are also preventing you from using other platforms from equal access. Okay? That's important. That's a critical factor here. It's not just the private company argument. And the two groups of people that seem to not be able to understand this are the progressives on the left who do not understand fundamental economics but they like to pretend to use market capitalism when it suits them. Oh, well, they're a private company. They can censor you all they want. And certain branches of libertarians who don't understand economics or access and use the same arguments as the progressives. When you find yourself in agreement with progressives who you know don't understand market economics, you might want to take a look at your point of view and just make sure that you know what you're talking about. So that's Libertarian Rant number two for the month. Uh, stay sideways. Have a good one.